Good afternoon, Dr. Kemi Olunlayo in Lagos, Nigeria. The time is approximately about 3.30 in Lagos right now, and this video I'm about to do is very, very important. If you're a blogger and you want to post this video, please credit me, Kemi Olunlayo, hashtag, or the at. It's about precious fanny coyote. Many of you know, okay, today is the 4th of August, 2021. Many of you know that in September of 2020, well, maybe a lot of you didn't even catch it until January, but in September of 2020, I was investigating Investigating Femi with regards to the breakup of him and his wife and what happened with regards to the domestic violence dispute that she said he abused her. There's a reason I got into that story, and it has nothing to do with me and Femi growing up. Remember, I just met Femi after 38 years in May of this year. The reason I got into the story is just the reason of what I do. I'm an investigative journalist. If a story looks lucrative for me, okay, I pick up the story and I do the investigation and I give you the truth. I've done this consistently, and you know that I'm never wrong. When I did the story, I found out there were a lot of lies that this young lady, Precious Fanny Coyote, took to Stella Demoka Caucus. Stella talk, stopped talking to me because I told the truth. Now, it doesn't matter. She stopped talking to a lot of people. She's a blogger. I'm a journalist, okay? Stella, in fact, is actually a journalist, but not an investigative journalist. I investigated, okay? I gave you audios of Precious's uncle and aunt, two pastors. She still continued to lie. People working in that house, I got access to that house. I asked them to give me access to some of those people, past and present employees I tracked down, okay? But some of you still sit there saying that Femi has paid me, Femi. Everybody that doesn't go with your investigation has paid me. Well, let me tell you what happened. After all that happened, did the truth come out? Were they all lying, past, present employees, everybody? This afternoon, I saw a story. And I've investigated as much as I can in the story. It's still unfolding. Binta Sambo Dasuki. Mrs. Sambo Dasuki. You know Mr. Dasuki that was arrested by President Buhari for the whole um, Dasuki thing. Okay. He was locked up for a long time. Like Shori was locked up. All of them were released just recently. Now, Binta Sambo Dasuki is the one that came to Senator Grace Bent. Now, listen carefully. You got to pick this up very carefully. Okay, about four days ago, I endorsed Jackie Bent, okay, as my big brother choice. I studied seven days of Jackie, and I picked her. And you guys commented, you, her fans, came to my page. That was my choice. I wrote a write-up about her. Somebody wrote something on that comment about her mother being Senator Grace Bent. I could not put that name together. Then the person now told me she was in a picture with you at Fanny Coyote's children's birthday in Abuja. I had to go back to the picture. Then I went to the Vanguard newspaper, who actually had all the pictures and the names of everybody. And the reporter said, this is her. The picture I posted, okay, the picture that they posted in Vanguard was a picture of Femi introducing me to this lady, okay, who happened to be Jackie's mother. It was then I put two and two together and I said, okay, she's the daughter of this. They even look alike. At the end of the day, what does that have to do with her? Somebody said, oh, she lived with her mother, blah, blah, blah. Her mother helped her. So did I. I mean, my mother helped me when I had a single mother situation with my child. Now let's go back to Precious. This is why I want you to listen carefully. Okay? Precious is on a destruction mission. Okay? She is like that. Very destructive. Her children were not taken away from her so that she can't see them anymore. She's asking everybody to go beg Fanny Coyote. Beg Fanny Coyote, beg Fanny Coyote. Precious, your children are in the house with almost 12 nannies. I went to your house for the first time and I examined your house. I studied everything going on in there. You're allowed to see your child, your children, the triplets, all of them, but you refuse to take the supervised visitation. You're supposed to be getting treatment for schizophrenia and all the mental health problems you have. Mental health should never be a stigma. I have anxiety and depression, which culminates to PTSD. I watched the execution at SARS when I was taken to Port Accord and was literally kidnapped by the police. At the end of the day, I'm still treating at 50%. Mental health is not a stigma. You have schizophrenia, paranoid schizophrenia that you've been treated for and you refuse to take your medicine, got discharged, took a knife and tried to kill your own friend in that house and then you tried to kill your own husband and your children. You beat up your triplets so bad. Two of them were severely injured, precious. And I want Fanny Kaede that if he ever, ever lets you see those children without a visitation supervision, and if anything happens to those children, 
I will hold him responsible. You know the deal, Precious. You know what's going on, but you refuse to comply. You tell the world, you post everywhere, your heart, your liver, your kidney, every Precious, get medical treatment. Get a doctor to write that you're getting treatment. You're taking a certain pill. I take amitriptyline 25 at bedtime, so I don't see blood and shooting and SARS. It is not a stigma, okay? You have to be able to function. I have a video of you with knives, seven knives, and you were pointing knives and you chased everybody into the room. You sat down in front of the door, refusing to leave. I posted the clips. I could not post the entire video, so I screenshot the clips, put it there. That's enough because the judge, okay, didn't want the children to see that. They will eventually see the screenshots. Precious, no one is stopping you. So the synopsis of this mess going on, okay, is on Insta blog, and I'm sitting there and I can't comment. Okay, my hands is you know paining me. I have issues with my hands and stuff. My birthday is in two days, and you're there lying on this poor woman. Okay. This lady, Senator Grace Bent, happened to be the mother of a big brother Nigeria contestant. Don't involve the contestant by abusing the mother and trying to pull Jackie down. Okay, what you're doing is you're actually pulling Jackie up because Jackie's appearance in the house has nothing to do with her mother, who is a dynamic senator. I've seen her record in Adamawa State. Okay? The one thing you need to know is this. You're losing out of, on, a, on a lot of things. You are making up all these excuses. You are saying that your children are exposed to different women. Different women... As in, didn't you have different women living in your house? Nannies, 11, 12, and you've never changed a diaper? Precious, you know you've never changed a diaper in your life of any of those children. You send them out in the sun like children in high school, punish them, take some of their salaries. Please don't let me go through this again. If you got an invitation from the police for defamation, for this, for that, you need to go to the invitation and ask the police why I'm being called here. You know you have a lot of cases with the police. Did you not try to kidnap me? You organized for people to come and kidnap me in Lagos. Hold me and torture me so that I wouldn't post anything about the FFK case. You hired a hacker to enter my Twitter in September to start deleting anything hashtag FFK case. Twitter thwarted that. If you want me to start, okay, your kidnappers went to the DSS and the police and they notified me. I'm not going to live for this shit. Excuse me, precious, if I begin... What about the fake and forged documents that you forged, court papers and all? Go to the police, invite you, go to them. Go and honor your invitation and tell the truth. You ask Binta to come to Senator Bent. I've called every party to beg. And she said she doesn't want to get involved. Senator Grace Bent said she doesn't want to get involved. I had to track her down and get her number. She says she doesn't want to get involved. Why are you abusing her and calling her all kinds of names? Binta had the phone next to you. She was begging Senator Ben to beg Femi. There are people who come to me to beg Femi. It's not a matter of begging. You have visitation, but it must be supervised, but you refuse. At the end of the day, Binta gave the phone. Binta Sambo Dasuki gave the phone to you to speak to Senator Ben. Instead, you started screaming, yelling, and cursing her out. This woman is old enough to be your mother. Precious, you are an ungrateful woman. You are an ungrateful, horrible woman. You are so ungrateful. You're putting yourself out there like a fool. You need to go to the police and answer them. You've done a lot of bad things. You've hurt a lot of people. I have nothing else to say. My birthday is very important to me in 24 hours soon, 48 hours, whatever it is. I'm not feeling good. I'm not supposed to be shouting. And then people were calling me left, right, and center from Big Brother. Fans, you know, messaging me. Precious, don't get it. <laughs> um, you can't pull Jackie down. Jackie has nothing to do with your bullshit, okay? But for right now, I just want to let everybody know, enough is enough. Get treatment. Go visit your children. Stop it. Those children had a birthday party. I was there. They had no idea I was coming. I was in Abuja for projects. Three days in Abuja, Fanny Kairi had to see a post on my page to know I was in town. And at the end of the day, 
will come to the triplets birthday party. I showed up. You were not there. If there's anything, it's not a disgrace. You can always get supervised visits with your children. But no, you have not told your fans that what you want is for them to come to your house and be left alone with them so that you can stab them, Abby. I still have the video. This case is in court. Grace Benz could not get involved. Okay, I'm not part of the court. I'm the investigative journalist that investigated everything they would probably use in court. Okay, and the last thing you need is for me to go to that court and be subpoenaed to go testify. Because I have a lot of stuff about you that needs to be done right. I really feel bad for the children. I really, I really do. I, 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 I don't know what to say. I, I don't know. Thanks for watching, everybody.